Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you a useful technique that I recently learned. You all might have encountered into a scenario that your line manager asks for bar charts like this. But the only thing that they wish to see is the maximum numbers should be of different colors and that should be dynamic as well. For example, as you can see the number of change requests and budget, the maximum numbers are shown in other color than the other projects. For example, let's come and update the number of change requests in project number 1 to 20. Let's see what happens. As you see, the 17 is not anymore the greatest number among the projects. And project 1 with 20 change requests is the one with the maximum number. And it's shown with different color. Same could be done for the a project budget as well. For example, let's increase this project budget to 450,000 and let's see what happens. You might, for example, let's assume this is 500,000. So how do we create dynamic dashboards like this, which dynamically depicts our maximum value with a different color in our bar charts? Let me take you step by step and show you this easy and useful technique. I copied the name of the projects along with their budget and number of change requests to another sheet. Now in this cell, I will name it as budget 1 or B1. I will name this cell as change request 1. And here we will use the F function. Write down equal sign F. The value in this cell is the maximum or equals to max among these cells I will lock them using a 4 then write down the value in the cell if not write down 0 and close the brackets press enter and drag it down from right here we will leave the change requests for now as the same formula is used for that as well. Now we will create a 2D column for the budget. Go to insert, column, 2D column. The chart is inserted here. We will format it a little bit. I will delete the numbers on this axis. I will delete the series name. I will delete these lines. I will add the data labels on the inside end. I will rotate them, form a data labels, alignment, minus 90 degrees, OK. We'll change them to bold. Moreover, I will change the color of these to dark blue. I will change the color of the text to white. Now. We will plot another bar chart for the values under B1. We'll right click on the chart, select data. From here we will click add. We will select the series values from here. We will select these values. Click OK and OK. Now once this is done, click on this one, right click, format data series. And in the series overlap, Make it 100%. Close. Let's change the color of this one to the orange that we did in there. Now let's see if it works. For example, let's increase this value to 600,000. Or maybe let's increase this value to 700,000. I hope you liked the contents in this video and found it informative. If you did so, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more contents like this and like this video. Thank you very much for watching.